The Department of Health today issued its final decision on its emergency order, calling for the Navy to shut down its Red Hill underground fuel storage facility. But the Navy may not have exhausted all of its legal challenges just yet. KITV4's Jeremy Lee joined us live tonight to explain. Jeremy. Well, it's been four weeks to the day since the DOH issued its emergency order to shut down Red Hill, and a 30-day notice was issued for the Navy to submit a work plan to begin with a defueling process. Now, that 30-day demand has been kicked down the road with each of the Navy's challenges. So instead of the Navy taking action this week to assure no future fuel contamination, we could still have a ways to go. The U.S. Navy has been in challenge mode for the last month since the Department of Health issued an emergency order to not only cease operations at the Red Hill fuel storage facility, but put forth a plan to remove its fuel reserves. In a final decision issued today, the DOH repeated its order. We call upon the Navy to comply with the order without further attempts to delay. This, of course, includes removing fuel from the Red Hill storage tank facility. David Hankin of Earth Justice represented Sierra Club in the Marathon contested case hearing. The Navy appealed the preliminary ruling against it. Last Wednesday, the Navy filed uh, some 40 some odd pages of exceptions, so objections uh, to everything from the legal authority of the department to protect our public health and safety uh, to claiming that they have the situation under control even though their own witnesses at the hearing testified that no one really knows where this contamination came from. The word appeal makes its ominous appearance in today's ruling. That's because the Navy can appeal in Hawaii's circuit court, to the dismay of many. The order says immediately start making the plans so you can safely defuel these tanks. It's going to take time. It's time displaced residents, the Board of Water Supply, and other environmental activists say we simply do not have. Hankin argues that not only is the decision binding, but the process is fair and has already given the Navy its day in court. The law actually allows the Department of Health to have issued an order on December 6 that was immediately effective. And instead, they told the Navy, we're ordering this. But if you object, we're going to give you a chance to make your case before we finalize it. And that's what happened today. The order was finalized. The Navy responded to KITV's request for comment, though they haven't tipped their hat as to what the next move will be for the military. A spokesperson told us simply that they are reviewing today's decision. Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News tonight.